Welcome to a fire edition of Moon Magic. I'm very excited because this is the first fire video, fire moon that I get to do the new moon in Sagittarius on December 18th. Um, this new moon is so gorgeous. So, so beautiful. I'm feeling this very intensely. As a lot of you know, I talk about this a lot, but I am a Sag rising. So for me, this moon is poignantly personal and I can already feel as the, the moon is waning and we are heading into this new moon energy, the effects of it and what it is trying to bring us. So I'm gonna go over a short amount of astrology for you. This new moon is a beautiful chance to reconcile different parts of yourself. We have the new moon, it's happening in Sagittarius. So we have the sun and moon in Sagittarius. Now on either side of that, we have Saturn at 29 degrees of Sagittarius. It is, this is, it's gonna be its last pretty much full day in Sagittarius during this new moon. We are heralding in the very last hours of Saturn and Sagittarius during this new moon. That is extremely powerful all on its own. Then we have Venus on the other side. I can't remember the degree right now, but it is a little bit of an earlier degree than the new moon. And Venus, of course, is this loving, soft, romantic, flirty energy, right? And I, I like it in Sagittarius because Sagittarius is already so flirtatious and wonderful. Now, Saturn and, and, and Venus are very different energies. It's apples and oranges. They, they work in totally different realms of being. Um, and, but the thing is that they're being united with a trine, with Uranus hanging out in Aries, which is, you know, it's been there for a while. And that lights everything up. It asks us to look at these two sides of ourselves, the grounded, focused, intense, Saturn side and the romantic, flirtatious, hopeful, more willing to try and experiment side, how those are being united with Uranus, which is the experimentation, revolution based energy that gives us surprise. So those are beautiful energies and we have that happening. And it does make for a supportive new moon and planting seeds and in setting intentions and in opening ourselves up to what we want relationships to look like. What we want real relationships to look like, the ones that last. A lot of people say this new moon is a great time to connect and make commitments. And that can be on so many different levels depending on where your houses fall. But here's the thing, I love, I love that we have the technical side of this new moon helping us along. What a great thing. But I have been having extremely intuitive moments with this new moon, you guys. Whew. I'm going to I'm going to try and keep this together because there's a lot happening for me personally, but I I do think this is a collective experience. And here's the thing. You have to forgive yourself. You have to embrace your path. And there is a train zooming by my house right now. <laughs> and you know, we all experiment. This world is a big experiment. Our lives are big experiments. We have to find out what happens when we experiment. And Sagittarius is the energy of experimentation. It is the energy of going forward and going out into unknown territory. It is a philosophical and deeply spiritual energy. And it is the energy of what it looks like when you go past what's known, what's local, what's, what's already been established. We want to expand past that in the Sagittarian energy. And, but when you do that, you are going to fumble. You are going to make mistakes. You are going to, not even mistakes, you're going to find out what hurts and what feels good. You're going to find out what's tripped you up and held you back and what has released you. And I think that a lot of people are going to feel at this new moon that they, they are sitting in this darkness because it is a dark night. 
New moons are dark nights. They, they make us sit in the quiet with ourselves. You might look back on 2017, on this solar year. We're only going to be a few days away from the solstice. You may feel like you failed yourself or that you made the wrong choices or that you experimented in areas you wish you hadn't. Maybe you have regret or you rue something. But this new moon is telling you to forgive yourself. Allow yourself to be who and what you are. If you're truly allowing that, you will embrace every time you put your toe in that water and you found out what would happen next. And I tell you what, for you seekers, for you adventurers, for you passionate lovers out there and, and strivers for life's work and for finding out new territory, you're going to be dipping your toes in pools and in experiences that you don't know how it turns out, but that is so much more valuable than staying held back in the rigid posture of what is known. And this new moon is asking you to make peace with the fact that you have challenged what is known in order to find out what is next. And this year has been a year of that. And in releasing of this and of forgiving yourself and in embracing the beautiful story you have created this year, you are going to be able to plant the seeds of intentions about what you want your commitments, your relationships, your experiences coming up to look like. But you can only plant valuable seeds if you have forgiven yourself. Now, the other thing that is very important to do to leverage the Sagittarian energy that is really trying to help us all to be better and to be more hopeful and to be, and to be relentless in our search for more and to discover more and experience more and enjoy life more. Give yourself credit for all those adventures you've taken and how far you've come. Give yourself credit in that dark quiet to incorporate your journey, to let it download into your system, to allow it to help you along because you'll make peace with it that way. And you will see, if you think about yourself last December, where were you? I can guarantee you, you were somebody somewhere very different than you are today. And some of those differences may be very subtle and under the surface, but they're there. And you, this new moon will help guide you to giving yourself that credit. Now, this is the last new moon of the year. This is it. We are closing out an entire solar cycle and also a classic calendar cycle with this new moon. This is planting seeds for a the return of the sun. So there, you know, it's such a beautiful placement because to me, Sagittarius, it is my favorite sign. It is my favorite energy. It is the energy of hope, buoyancy, determination, and open honesty and spiritual beliefs. And if you can have all of those, you will plant seeds that will carry you very far. Now, for some of you, it is going to feel like a moon that hits you up the side of the head. <laughs> if you have had a hard time incorporating lessons or have had a hard time accepting where you've fallen down and scraped your knees, so to speak, this new moon is going to be really asking you to look at that. And you know, we are still in this Mercury retrograde that is also happening in Sagittarius. And Mercury retrogrades, this is one thing I will say about this, this might be helpful as well as you're in the midst of this Mercury retrograde. They not only mess with technology, yes, yes, we all know that, but what they really do is they force you to slow down and give yourself a moment to prepare for what's next. You know, Mercury retrogrades happen every three or four months and they are a time to just prep. And this moon is just really, really asking you to prep and be brave, be brazen with your wishes and be specific and be with joy. This is a moon of self forgiveness and path forging. And that's such a beautiful thing. I know I will be spending that time really sitting with everything I have done and gained and sitting in gratitude and hope. Gratitude for myself and gratitude for 
what I've pushed to create and gratitude for all of you uh, in joining me on this journey um, because you all are so amazing and you show me every day how beautiful this world can be. And with that, my friends, let's pull three cards for this new moon. And this is for everybody. This moon is for everybody. And this moon is about expanding to our next iteration, our next skin, our next expression of self. And these cards flew out. Let's see what we have. Okay. We have the King of Cups, we have the Star, we have Justice. Okay, so these are beautiful energies. King of Cups, emotional truth. We're going to be deep diving here. Despite the fact that this is a fire moon, this is a fire new moon, we are in the spiritual element of fire. Ooh, new moons always ask us to dig deep. And the moon itself is this watery entity. It always asks us to go for a nice little dip in the waters, right? And this is moon is no different. In fact, in some ways, I feel like this is a complete deep dive to the very bottom, to the deep end of the pool, to be completely grateful for that deep, dark end. The star. But what does that deep dive do? It brings us what we want the most. And here's where the seed planting is so beautiful. The star is about healing. It is about forgiveness. It is about striving for the next biggest thing. It is about looking to the big picture and believing you can have it. So if you want that love relationship, let yourself have it. If you want that new job, that new situation, let yourself have it. Let it meet you. Allow it to meet you. And finally, justice. Balance. Balance. And that's where we go back to the Saturn and the Venus on either side of this new moon, asking us to be grounded, to be real to ourselves, to be loyal to what we have learned for the last two and a half, three years with Saturn, where it has been. Each of us has been learning a lesson. And Saturn's like, hey, remember what I just taught you, because I'm about to go. Venus is telling us to be buoyant and hopeful and to express and try and go for and experience life at its fullest balance, clarity, freedom from old ways, utter freedom. So that's what I'm saying. This moon will allow you freedom if you utilize it. Leverage it, you guys. Leverage it with everything you have. And I tell you what, you will be set up for the solstice. You will be set up for the new year ahead. And life will only continue to be a beautiful surprise. I'm very excited about this new moon. I'm very excited about the Saturn transit into a new house, into a new iteration. Happy graduation to fire signs. Happy graduation to fire signs is what I will say. And we are going to be in an, uh, an energy of abundance and hard work ethic, but manifestation as we go forward. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this moon magic and hanging with me. I truly, Love you all so much. And this has been quite the journey together this year. Have a beautiful new moon.